If you're looking for quick, easy, and cheap, possibly free, depending on where you live, sci-fi tiles, stay glued. But first, hey everybody, welcome back to Craft Nicks, tabletop hobby spot craft and everything from terrain to the game. Let's get into these sci-fi tiles. These tiles are nothing more than flooring sample tiles. That's it from the big box store. Now I grabbed these years ago and they were free for me, but also I heard that they were also 25 cents at the time too. And this was back when I first started the channel about four years ago. As I noticed, as I went back in my bit box and I noticed them and then it clicked, I said I could use these for sci-fi tiles. I noticed the differences in the back, the textures in the back and the widths. So if you go and check yours, you go ahead and do that. Make sure you do the one that you like. So anyway, I picked the ones that were thicker and we're gonna mess around with it. All right, now this is how easy this is. Went with some Rust-Oleum Metallic, sprayed it. Then went back with some gloss varnish, sprayed it, done. Now it's a little hard to see in this shot, but we'll do it a little later in the video, but the gloss varnish added a discoloration to the metallic spray paint. So if you want to take it a step further and add some grid lines, I recommend the silver. It was a nice, nice subtle way of doing it. And it, I liked it against the silver instead of going black, but stick around because we're going to see all of that and you're going to be your own judge. All right, first I want to start off with the ones that I like the most. And I used a semi-systematic approach to doing it, but mostly it was the ones that I was interested in the most of seeing the results. Now on the left side is the one that we went over earlier. It's just the metallic spray followed up with the gloss varnish. Now I use Krylon. I don't think it makes a difference. However, Krylon is the one that I use. So it's gonna be the one that I mentioned. And there was a discoloration when it reacted with the Rust-Oleum Metallic. So that's why I chose it. I like that natural look. Now this one, I just sprayed gray and then I sponged on some gunmetal over it. So for the rest of the comparisons, we're gonna go ahead and use it against the silver metallic. And I went ahead and brushed on the gunmetal on both of them and then washed the left one. As you can see, it's a little more splotchy than the right one. If all I had was a brush and gunmetal gray and the spray can, I would be okay with it. It would be, all right, let's get through this session because that's the most important thing, right? So the next comparison was putting the sealers on, one the gloss Mod Podge and one the clear coat spray and then putting a wash over them and I got real splashy effects. Now, it is worth mentioning that I was real sloppy with the application where with the other ones, any other ones that I put a wash on, I was a little more thorough, try to get it in the crease and stuff and wipe off the extra amount. This one I didn't. Now these last two are just sprayed metallic again like the rest of them. And then the left one is a sponge of application of gunmetal gray. And then I washed both of them. So the one on the right is missing the gunmetal. And you know, they didn't come out too terrible. They were kind of like the middle of the pack for me. But there they are. You be the judge. What do you think? But after that, I went ahead and resprayed most of them with the metallic silver and went ahead and drew the lines. And I kept the gray one right there and drew the silver lines so that I could show them off. And you guys could be the judge if you guys decide that you want to go get you some nice, cheap sci-fi tiles. And that concludes our video. So if this was helpful, I'm really glad that I was able to provide this to you so you could get to your table and enjoy some great memories with some great fellowship. If you're new to the channel and you want to continue the crafting, there's a bunch of crafting channels, but I also do the same thing, crafting everything from terrain to the game. And to everyone who's shown support by either hitting those like buttons and all those YouTube buttons, subscribing, or even leaving comments below, constructive feedback down below i want to thank you and i look forward to continuing this hobby journey with you guys i really appreciate it and i appreciate all the support that i've had so far and to my patrons it's been a pleasure getting to know you guys you guys are awesome and i'm completely humbled by your generosity and thankful for it and your belief in this channel and your belief and your support to get the supplies needed to keep it going so that's no light thing to me so everybody, happy gamings, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.